Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. So we have been seeing the topics in science for grades 3 and 4 and we've seen about the plants and its types. We've seen that there are many types of plant depending on the area. There are certain plants that grow in plains, in marshy places, in the mountainous areas, in the deserts and these there are certain plants that get adapted according to, the, to its environment like the cactus grows in the desert areas and they can survive only in the desert areas and it stores its water in its stem and instead of leaves it has spines that prevents the water excess water from coming out and also it protects it from enemies like the animals that come to eat them and the there are trees that shed all its leaves once a year and grows new leaves there are certain trees that shed only a part of its leaves and the new leaves starts developing there are certain plants that grow under water and it exposes its leaves to the surface of the water in order to absorb maximum amount of sunlight and there are terrestrial plants and aquatic plants aquatic plants are plants that grow on the surface of the water or some plants are submerged in water and it some plants do not have roots but uses its leaves to prepare its food so our next topic will be about the importance of plants to animals and we have seen that the animals and humans depend on plants and plants and animals are interdependent on each other the plants give out oxygen that we breathe in and take in carbon dioxide in order to prepare its food the plants are green in color because of the presence of a green colored pigment called chlorophyll and this chlorophyll helps the leaf to prepare its own food by absorbing water and sunlight and hence the leaf is called the kitchen or the food factory of the plant the part of the plant that grows below the ground is called the root and the part of the plant that grows above the ground is called the shoot and the root absorbs maximum amount of water and nutrients and transfers it to the stem which in turn transfers it to the different parts of the plant and the shoot bears the branches the leaves the fruits the flowers and the buds so these are all the features of the plant and there are two types of roots that is your tap root and your fibrous root the tap root buries itself deep into the ground in order to absorb the maximum minerals and water that is needed for the growth and development of a plant the fibrous root it gets attached to the soil and is on the surface of the soil and thus helps in preventing soil erosion so these are the main features of a plant let us move on to the importance of plants to humans as well as animals.